I mean, they created a lot of classics. I mean, the half cab. I mean, that is one of the sickest looking shoes, one of the best shoes ever. I mean, I just got a pair in the box the other day and I was look, looking at it, I was like, I'm gonna fucking skate these things. You know, it's such a trip that like, yeah, here we are. I don't know what year those the cab first came out or it was a fucking, what is it, 30 years old? How old is that thing? We, we put the first uh, shoe out in 1989, and uh, it was awesome, it was cool. It was a chance for me to design a new shoe, and I also put my name out there on not, not only a skateboard, but also a shoe as well. And it was being built here in Orange County, and uh, the factory was right there. And I went in and watched and saw how they made the shoes. We were pioneering a new thing, you know, with uh, signature shoes, with skateboarders uh, having uh, their name attached to it, you know, and uh, it was really cool to see all the other skaters support the brand and support uh, my shoe and, and uh, seeing it in the magazine, seeing a lot of guys wearing it, you know, so it was awesome. Did I take a pair of, pair of full cabs and cut them down into low tops? Absolutely. Did I take bleach out and just bleach them so they went a different color? Yeah. Yeah, did I, I did all of that stuff, put fat laces in them, I did the whole nine yards. Yeah, I don't know. The only time I ever had a pair of half cabs was when Billy Pepper gave them to me, and they were size nines, and I was a size six, and I still wore them. I was at a Canberra demo, but I didn't cut them down. I saw my friends doing that, cutting them down and taping them. I've, I've never been. I'm not really sophisticated about my shoes, so I, I wouldn't really be the, the guy to ask about how to change shoes. I never really spray paint them or anything like that or do anything cool. I mean, when, it, when I was young and I couldn't afford shoes, I'd get like the volleys for like $4 from the $2 store and then I'd put a piece of bucket as an Ollie pad. <laughs> I think at the time I was just, I was just doing what skateboarding was doing, you know? I don't even know if at the time I, I put together that obviously there's that function of not having the full cab, you know, lace up, you know, you got that movement in the ankle and stuff like that. Like I was just like, oh, that looks sick. You chop the, sh cut off pants, cut the shoes down and then put stickers all over the rim of it, you know. At that period of time, we didn't want high tops because skateboarding was starting to get pretty technical again and people were starting to try to learn more like technical tricks like you flip it in and flip it out that was really early days for that kind of stuff and you wanted more movement in your ankles and those are the reasons why those were cut down it wasn't just a hey check this weird style out we're skaters we can do anything we want because we're punk it wasn't that it was we're cutting them down because they skate better when they're cut down for street skate at that time street skating started coming in you know around the early 90s and starting to take over and a lot of the guys were wearing my high top, but they wanted something a little bit lower, so they started cutting the shoe down. And I started seeing in the magazine, people were having the shoe cut down, were putting uh, duct tape over it and then put stickers. So I started cutting the shoe down myself. And after about the third one, I was just like, man, I'm, I'm over this. Called Vans, hey, uh, what do you think about uh, taking my shoe, making it a mid top, and calling it the half cab? Steve came in and he says, you know, everybody's cutting them. Can we just, you know, make a shoe this way? No problem. After that, man, history was made. It's been around for, you know, 25 years. It's amazing, you know, it's been around so long. When, when people talk about shoes, they talk about, you know, a checkerboard, they talk about a side stripe, they talk about half cabs. Jumping like eight feet, like in this frame. I think it's funny that, like, all the people like that are like in that older generation, that are skating still, and like that when they were younger, like skating like wasn't a thing, and like it wasn't like they didn't have the option for it to be like a job. I think it's like a big, awesome like fuck you to the world, of like they're still doing what they love doing. Ooh, street daddy. Carve it up.
For me, like riding like bigger obstacles with thinner shoes, it's all confidence. Made me skate better, made me feel more confident when I was riding. I liked the way that they looked. Uh, and I actually got a kick out of like the fact that they were wearing down and I had to constantly modify them to keep them on track. It was like when I first started skating. That's the thing about skateboarding. I, you know, me growing up, it's like, you know, I could put, put together a, a Gons blind board and look at that shape and I'll get that same feeling, you know? And like I put on a pair of half cabs or old schools or skate highs and you look at that toe and it just gives you that same feeling. It's like, it's sick, you know, I still skate and I look down at my feet and, I, and all of that's there, you know? I rode for another shoe company before Vans. And prior to that, I pretty much rode Vans. You know, so I always liked, I knew exactly what the vulcanized shoe was and how it skated. And it always skated top notch. So even when I rode for another shoe company, um, there was always in the back of the, your mind, like the grip and the control and everything you're gonna get with Vans. I just skate mainly authentics and slip-ons occasionally. I like skating really, really thin shoes. Yeah, just like the way you can feel your board. Yeah, it's crazy even using like an era now, since I've been using such thin shoes that like even a little bit of padding kind of makes the shoe feel way more bulky. I couldn't imagine like wearing like a, like back in the day, like, like a D3 or something, skating in that. When I first started riding Vans, I was not taking shoes from the building for the first 12 months. I was using old stock made in the USA eras. When we go back to the 90s, and it's more like kind of 90, to 95, 96, the puffy shoes were around everywhere. And we had just moved our factory in 94 overseas. So the, the management at that time were all excited about all these new things that we haven't had before. So for about four or five years, our designers were designing all the puffy shoes too. Forgot about what our roots were. And you could look at the wall of 100 shoes and couldn't tell which one advanced. So I finally, in a, actually in a meeting, told everybody, hey, you guys, we're all full of shit. It's not what we're about. 